Today we'll be talking about family resiliency, supporting prevention, treatment, and recovery. I think that the stigma that we've talked about and the guilt and the anger that people experience can really be destabilizing in a family sometimes. That um, you um, feel angry toward the person who's having symptoms, you feel blamed by other people. They have become a, a tremendous part of the face and voice of recovery families have and, and I think because of that greater things are beginning to happen. Um, and, and even in terms of some of that stigma and shame because now we are someone's mother or someone's daughter or somebody's sister or brother instead of you know the addict or the, the person with a mental illness. What I find very important is that whether it's the individual or the individual's family realizing that you're not alone in this and that you can come forward and get support. I believe SEPTA is very unique. I think the way they do things is very different from other programs out there. The way that they round everything based off love and caring for each other and actually being there for the family. We try to, to bring that family together in treatment and through the activity, activities we offer at the clubhouse. The recovery is possible. Uh, I've seen it not only in my own patients, but I've heard uh, so many stories, and personally from our own family. Keep that hope that this is possible and it will happen. Mm -hmm.